Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now we've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look where I've got. I was in Iceland having a look around and I came across this. I noticed it was new. Iceland takeaway chicken. I've got that right. Um, is it Dopiaze? Dopiaze? Please let me know if I've said it wrong. It's a two chili rating, 375 grams. And there is the serving suggestion. This was three pounds. So let's take a look at the packaging. So we've had a little, little look at the front. Let's, um, let's have a look at it. We'll have a look at it first. No, I'll tell you what, it's frozen. It's not gonna go everywhere, the content, contents. Well, I'll go around the back. So they are the ways to cook. For best results, cook from frozen, which this is. You can do it in the microwave or you can do it in the oven. It depends what you want to do. It's up to you. Ensure the product is thoroughly cooked and piping hot before serving. Um, packed for Iceland foods there at the bottom. Dublin. 375 grams, like we said. A takeaway chicken doppiaze or dopiaze. I'm not quite sure how it's said. Pieces of cooked chicken breast in a medium spiced onion and tomato sauce. There are the ingredients there. It's got um, allergens in there are milk and barley. It's got um, chicken chunks, 28%, chicken breast, 99%. So it's chicken breast. Any nasties in there? They don't look too bad, do they, really? Yeah, no nasties really in there. I can't see. Let me know if you can. So there's some nutritional information there. If you want to pause that and have a look at that in detail, then please go ahead. 352 calories per pack. Microwaved. It says allergy advice there for all allergens. See underlined ingredients in bold. Warning, although every effort has been made to remove all the bones, some may remain. Um, recyclable carton, it says there, or recyclenow.com. Yeah, right. Let's have a let's have a, a look at this. So let's get this open and have a look what we've got. Wow, um, there it is in there. Have a look at that. So yeah, it's plenty of chicken in there by the look of it. Look at all that chicken. Now I don't know whether that's just all at the top and it's all sauce underneath, but yeah, I mean, there's the sort of the fill range. It's it's up sort of three quarters there and and down a bit here. It's all a bit sporadic round the side. Look, you can see through. Um, and it's pretty much three quarters full on this side. It's probably been leaning over like that. But plenty of chicken breast in there. I'm going to do mine in the microwave, so... You have to pierce the film lid several times. I do like doing that. So it's in the microwave for six minutes and after six minutes you to take the, the film lid off, give it a stir and then put it back in for six, seven, eight, another three and a half minutes. Because this is 800 watts my microwave, it says it's nine and a half minutes, but all microwaves are different. Depends what you've got, so just just the uh, change the times accordingly, you know, uh, all different, aren't they? It's the peel seal test and it is smelling really good. So we need to get this off and give it a bit of a... Oh, no. So I thought it was going to work really well then. It's just, it's just split a bit, but never mind. Never mind. It, it's, it, no, they normally come off good, these. But, um, oh no, and that's cracked. The, Plastic containers cracked, but that might be my fault. Yeah, there's loads of chicken in this. Um, it's still sort of frozen. Oh, and that's smelling good. Quite watery as well, but it's, like I say, it's not done yet. Still got to go in for another three and a half minutes, so that is what I'm going to do right now. 
And uh, just before, just be careful of this uh, sauce. If it goes on your counter, it sticks. Oh, no. If it does go on there, I always find a bit of bleach gets it off. Does a good job. So I hope you liked my last video I did, the Cornish pasty sat in Morrison's car park. I did learn a lot from that video, thank you very much. Um, about the miners used to use the the crimp bit for eating it with and then after they have eaten it with their dirty hands they used to throw that bit away. So thank you very much, I thought it was for carrying it with but holding it, carrying it. Um, and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel let me know your thoughts that pie that pasty i apologize i'll it's in a pie playlist if you want to go and have a look at that it's got, i've done loads of pies i do like a pie right we've got four seconds left this is going to beep i'm going to get it out and we're going to we're going to get into it saved by the bell so let's, uh, I've had to give it a little bit of time to rest. We'll take this lid off. Go, oh, it's still, it is very watery. Uh, it was confirmed in the old stirring before, but yes, this is very, very watery. Um, I'll just get rid of that, we don't want that. I've took precaution and I've put it on a tray and I get loads of comments, probably this, I get more comments about these plates, sorry, not a tray, these plates and anything else. I got these, I'm not sponsored by anyone, but I got them from Asda. <laughs> um, and there it is. There it is. Yeah, well, where do you get them plates from? Um, Asda, have a look in there. Um, so it is very watery. Look at that slick on top of oil. <laughs> oh, there's all your flavor there. Um, so I'm gonna get my spoon in there. We're gonna have a lot. I'll bring you a little bit closer. Uh, this this dod, this selfie stick of mine is my backup, and my backup one is not as good as my real one. So, but I know you don't eat curries like this, do you? You don't eat these kind of foods like this. Well, you might do if you don't want any carbohydrates, but you've got a you know some some rice. You know, have have what you like, and on on stirring it is a little bit thicker. There is the chicken. That's you. That's the kind of chicken you get. As I refer to it as a slippery chicken. It does have a slippery texture being frozen or been frozen. So there's onions in there. It's not massive amounts of onions, but they are in there. Um, it's the taste test time, isn't it? So that's what I'm gonna do. Right, let's count this. Um, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bits of chicken. Yeah, ten bits. You can see the uh, onion in it, can't you? Oh, and eleven. I got a little bonus bit of chicken hiding there. That's not too bad, really. Not too bad at all. I'll we'll get into it now. Stop. Uh, stop messing about. So you can have this with chips as well. You can have it with what you like, can't you? Have it with what you like. Mmm. It, it's not too hot. That chicken is slippery. It didn't say the origin of the chicken. I was looking on the box, it doesn't say. Try a bit of the sauce. Mmm. It's okay, it's not too sweet. I was thinking it'd be a bit sweeter than that. It's it doesn't taste sweet at all for me. It's well seasoned. Chicken's okay as well. I mean, it's what you expect from sort of frozen chicken that goes in the microwave. I mean, you can do these in the oven, 50 minutes, a long time. Um, it 
Depends how you want to do them, really, doesn't it? Um, is it? It's not a sharer, is it? Let's be honest. Does it? it doesn't say it serves two on there. Um, but when, when you get this with some rice, and say rice, half rice, half chips, pickle tray, poppadoms, onion bhajis, keema naan, you know. I suppose you might as well go and buy buy one from your Indian, uh, your local Indian takeaway. <laughs> Time you add all that up. <laughs> Three pounds, let me know what you think of the price. It's not a two chilli rating, it's not even a, I don't, they're lucky to be a one. I'm not detecting any sort of sort of spiciness heat at all in there. It's very mild, very mild. Um, it's, it's okay, it's, It's okay. It's nothing special for me. If 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 for me, I would have liked it a little bit sweeter. I would, and a bit more sort of spice coming through, if not heat, but spice coming through. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I wouldn't buy it again. I'd get something different. But I did try their Vindaloo recently, and it's not the same as it used to be. It's not the same. I don't know if they've changed the recipe, but it's not as good as it used to be. I think I reviewed it over a year ago, and since then they have they've done a few bits of tweaks and twerks with the chip with the recipe, and I don't think it's as good as it as it used to be. Why did they do that? I'll just leave it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. It's just just leave things as they are. But you know, these people need paying in these departments. They've got to they've got to do something to justify the money, haven't they? <laughs> Seven out of ten, I wouldn't buy it again, but it's not too bad, it's not great, it's not too bad. Thanks very much for watching, do appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts. I'd be, uh, I always like to I, I, I try and answer all the comments. I do, I, I look at them. If not, um, I'll try and have a crack with you. Difficult, getting hard at the moment, but. I love it. Please don't stop. Take care, all the best, and I'll uh, get back to you on the next one.